Hi everyone. Today I'm going to execute how to create a web server to control LED using ESP8266 or Nord MCU module. Before we dive into the code, let's understand what it does. Essentially, we'll be creating a web server on our ESP8266 module. And this server will serve a web page with two buttons that allow us turn an LED on and off. To achieve this, we'll be using uh, two main components. The one is of course ESP8266 module, nothing but uh, Nord MCU. And uh, another one or two libraries, one, one in which one is ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, uh, Wi-Fi library, and another one is ESP8266 web server, which serves server functionality. Now let's dive into the code. You'll find the complete code in the video description, so don't need to worry. We'll start including necessary libraries ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot H and ESP8266 server web server dot H to enable Wi-Fi connectivity and set up the web server. Next, we need to set a Wi-Fi network uh, credentials including SSID and password which allow ESP8266 to connect to the local net network which is nothing but than a hotspot which we have created in our personal computer. And we initialize the web server on port 80, which is default HTTP port. The HTTP is nothing but hypertext transfer protocol. This is where our web server will listen for incoming requests. We, we have created an HTML web page as a constant string. This web page will serve to the clients uh, connecting to the ESP8266. Now let's move to handler function. We have three handler function. The one is handle root, uh, which handles request for the root URL and search HTML web page. And an another one is handle LED on, turns LED, which turns LED on and sends a response saying LED on when the uh, turn LED on button is clicked. And another one is handle LED off. Uh, turns LED off and sends response saying LED off when turn off LED button is clicked. Now let's look at the setup function. We initialize serial communication for debugging, connect to Wi-Fi network, set up LED pin as an output and uh, initially turn it off, define rules for handling different URLs, and finally, we start the web server. The loop function is where the magic happens. The loop function continuously check the incoming HTTP requests and uh, routes them to the appropriate handler function. Now let's push this code into action. Make sure that you have selected an appropriate port now uploading has been started. First it need to be compiled and then it need to be uploaded. It take few minutes of time. Yes, uploading has been started. Make sure that you had selected and right port. Uh, uploading has been done. Now, you can see that go to settings and uh, select hotspot. Here you can find the IP address. Just copy it.
एंड पेस्ट इट इन क्रोम और एनी वेब ब्राउजर यू कैन सी दैट द वेब ब्राउजर हैज बीन अपियर एंड इट हैज टू बटन्स एल ई डी ऑन एंड एल ई डी ऑफ एंड बोथ आर वर्किंग करेक्टली 